Discover the inspiring journey of Steve Highway, a Dublin-born footballer who became a legend at Liverpool FC. Now that he is retired, he looks back on his biggest regret and opens up on his time in the States. Stephen Derrick Highway, born in Dublin, Ireland on November 25, 1947, is a distinguished figure in the world of football, both as a former player and an influential figure behind the scenes. Highway, known for his tenure as a winger with the legendary Liverpool team of the 1970s, grew up in a period of considerable change and development, both in Ireland and the United Kingdom. His early years were split between Ireland and England, with his family moving to Sheffield when he was young. There, he attended Ecclesall Junior School until 1959, embedding himself in the local culture and beginning to show an interest in football. His education continued at High Stores School, where he further developed his passion for the sport, before moving to Moseley Hall Grammar School for Boys in Cheddle near Stockport. This blend of Irish and English influences would play a significant role in shaping his career and identity, both on and off the pitch. Highway's journey into professional football was unorthodox compared to many of his teammates. Unlike many young talents who are scooped up by professional clubs in their early teens, Highway's route to the top was more circuitous. His talents on the field were evident from a young age, yet he balanced his footballing ambitions with a strong commitment to his education, a decision that was somewhat atypical in the era he grew up in. Attending the University of Warwick in Coventry from 1966, he delved into economics and politics, ultimately graduating with a commendable second-class honours. His footballing skills, however, remained on display, particularly with Skelmersdale United, where his prowess as a winger caught the attention of Liverpool's scouting network. In 1970, as Highway was immersed in his final university exams, Liverpool, under the guidance of Bill Shankly, was on the lookout for fresh talent to rejuvenate the club. The scouting efforts led them to Highway, who, despite his academic commitments, was making waves in the lower leagues of English football. His signing in May 1970 was part of Shankly's broader vision to infuse new life into the squad, marking the beginning of a transformative era for the club. Highway, known for his intellect and quick wit, earned the nickname Big Bamba, a playful reference to Bamba Gascoigne, the host of the television quiz show University Challenge, due to his academic background. This intellectual persona, combined with his footballing talent, made him a unique figure at Liverpool. On the field, Highway made an immediate impact. His debut came in a tense League Cup encounter against Mansfield Town at Anfield in September 1970, a match that showcased his skill and determination. His first goal for the club followed soon after, in a league match against Burnley, heralding the arrival of a new star in Liverpool's ranks. Highway's flair and athleticism were on full display in a memorable Merseyside derby against Everton, where his performance helped Liverpool turn a 2-0 deficit into a thrilling 3-2 victory. This resilience and ability to rise to the occasion became trademarks of his playing style. The 1970-1971 season saw Highway solidify his place in Liverpool's starting eleven, culminating in a dramatic FA Cup run that led to a final showdown with Arsenal. In the final, held at Wembley, Highway's brilliance was evident as he scored a crucial goal in extra time, demonstrating his knack for seizing pivotal moments. Despite Liverpool's eventual defeat, Highway's contributions were a silver lining, highlighting his potential to influence games at the highest level. This period marked the beginning of Highway's storied career at Liverpool, where his blend of academic intelligence and footballing talent set the stage for a remarkable journey in the world of professional football. He etched his name in the club's illustrious history through a decade of stellar performances and crucial contributions to the team's success. He first tasted glory in 1973, clinching his inaugural league title and the UEFA Cup, signalling the dawn of Liverpool's golden era under the management of Bill Shankly and his successor Bob Paisley. Highway's prowess was again on display in the 1974 FA Cup final against Newcastle United. His goal in the match was a testament to his attacking flair and footballing intelligence, helping Liverpool secure a 3-0 victory and adding another FA Cup winner's medal to his collection. His club success was mirrored on the international stage, where, despite never scoring, he earned 34 caps for the Republic of Ireland, showcasing his consistent performances and importance to his national team. The mid-1970s saw Liverpool dominate English and European football, with Highway playing a pivotal role. 
In 1976, he was instrumental in Liverpool securing another league and UEFA Cup double. The following year, the team aimed for a historic treble, but despite winning the league, their FA Cup and European Cup ambitions were thwarted by Manchester United and a heart-wrenching loss in the FA Cup final. Highway's European prowess shone brightly in the 1977 European Cup campaign, scoring crucial goals that propelled Liverpool to their first triumph in the competition. His contributions were vital in the matches against Crusaders, Trabzonspor and Zurich, culminating in a victory over Borussia Mönchengladbach in the final. Though Highway found himself transitioning from a starting role to more of a squad player towards the end of the 1970s and early 1980s, his legacy was cemented with Liverpool's continued success, including back-to-back -back European Cups and additional league titles. By the time he left Anfield in 1981, Highway had amassed 444 appearances and 76 goals, leaving a lasting imprint on the club's history. Steve Highway faced challenging times as financial troubles plagued Minnesota Kicks, his American club. Despite these difficulties, Highway's love for the sport and his commitment to nurturing young talent led him to Philadelphia Fever in the Major Indoor Soccer League for the 1981-82 season. His American journey was not just about playing, it significantly shaped his coaching career. Highway embraced life in the USA, working with Umbro and later taking a pivotal role at the Clearwater Chargers Youth Soccer Club. There, he innovated the role of Director of Coaching, significantly influencing youth soccer development in the United States. His experience and expertise in nurturing young talent did not go unnoticed across the Atlantic. In 1989, Liverpool, under the guidance of Kenny Dalglish, recognised Highway's exceptional talent development skills and appointed him as the Youth Development Officer at Anfield. This role marked the beginning of a profound era in Liverpool's youth development, with Highway playing a crucial role in establishing the club's School of Excellence and later the Academy in Kirkby in 1998. Under his stewardship, Liverpool's youth system flourished, becoming a conveyor belt of talent that produced some of the most iconic figures in the club's history. Players like Robbie Fowler, Michael Owen and Steven Gerrard not only came through the ranks under Highway's guidance, but also went on to become legends of the game. Highway's influence on these players and many others underscored his importance in Liverpool's storied history, making him an integral figure in the club's development and success on the global stage. His retirement in 2007 marked the end of an era, but his legacy at Liverpool continues, with his protégé still reflecting the high standards and values he instilled in them. Highway's legacy was recognised by Liverpool fans in 2006 when he was voted as one of the 100 players who shook the cop. His final retirement in 2022 concluded a remarkable journey in football, both on and off the field, marked by significant contributions to one of England's most storied clubs. Steve Highway remains a beloved figure at Liverpool, embodying the spirit and success of a club where he once dazzled as a player and later inspired as a mentor and coach. For more inspiring football stories, don't forget to subscribe.